be better than yeah, you one day. Yeah, you already know I had to go hard, nigga. <laughs> like, I had you nothing, bro. I, have, I didn't, I like, have a hundred grand. I had nothing, yeah, bro. But go. at the same time, I also didn't have excuses, uh, bro. Yeah. Hey guys, my name is Ace Marcus, and I'm a graffiti artist. My name is Suave, and I'm a creative. Hi, um, I go by the name of Fleeky, and I am a rapper. We are Fate. Uh, which is Fierce Arising Tent Evolution. We are made up of four um, a, a all girls dance crew, and I'm Zandile. I'm Zanele. I'm Adright. And the fourth member is Kate. Uh, my name is Kane. I'm a hip hop and RB DJ from Kenya. What initially motivated me was just the need to get out of this little bubble that um, I thought that I wasn't good enough to pursue what I wanted. So there's a lot of self-doubt in the beginning and just getting out of that, um, that helped motivate me to kickstart my career. What continues to motivate me is the need to always want to play on bigger stages. So Cotton Fest, Rocking the Daisies, all these massive stages, you know, these are little goals I've set for myself and that, what, that keeps me motivated essentially. I feel like I motivate myself just like, not like, I have a fear of like, dying and being a nobody and it's just I just express myself it's like it's a me thing also this camera thing <laughs> I am looking in the camera okay. my king how are you shout out my king what continues to motivate me right now is just the pure dopamine rush that I get from making music but what motivated me to start would be my childhood bestie I mean we started off as a duo and she decided that's not what she wanted to do, but I continued and here we are. We started in high school, which was around like, like five years before. Yeah. Four, like five years six ago. Six years like, ago now. Like grade nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we just found these people that have the same interest and passion about dance. You're like, oh wow, okay, let's do this. And we used it, um, we were in a girls' school, so we used that, we used that as a way to kind of find, we found ourselves in it. So in that way, also finding our own identities through that, and I think we just wanted to like also inspire like mm -hmm. other girls because we noticed that it's like um, confidence is a, it's like the confidence when you're like young is a very much a big thing, and mm -hmm. there's lots of young people that struggle with that, and so we just wanted to inspire like other young people to also like you can also arrive and take up a space and own your space and like. Your presence must, it can be felt, you know, um, and then you also just shop and do your thing. So we just wanted to do that, yeah. And also we just love dance, so yeah. just for the love of dance and just performance. And I guess it just happened that we just connected through that. Yeah. yeah. So when I was great art, I actually saw um, writers like Drone and Bush, Bush One and Doctor One. They like OGs in the game. I saw them when I was great art, and we were driving past. They're only doing first dance. That's what it's called. Like preparation lines and all of a sudden I come back and this piece is done to me I'm like yo this is crispy you know what I mean like only as a great art kid being inspired by people that I never knew and and that's what that's what pushed me man, to actually pursue this career and things because you see something happen like that it looks like it was printed on the wall and it inspired me so eventually I started taking paint I started buying my own cans and painting on the wall Obviously it didn't go well at first, but like after a while it's like I evolved, man. you know what I mean? And I always grew and with growing I had to teach. But I couldn't teach what I didn't know, so I had to learn, you feel me? So I surrounded myself around these people, like just by manifesting it. I just saw their pieces and I always wanted to meet them. And I was lucky enough to meet them and I told them, yo, I saw you paint and all these things, but like I'm going to be better than you one day, man. you know what I mean, respectfully. <laughs> so there's two sides of it, there's commission, which is like regarding companies and doing what the client wants, and then there's culture. So I focus more on the cultural level of going in the streets and, you know, putting my name out there amongst writers, there's a whole world around it. It's like, it's not just, oh, I'm going to see this building, put my name on this building and I'm going to leave. It's not that, it's like, the origin of graffiti started with a guy that wanted to get a girl's attention, right? So he wrote his name everywhere in the town so she could see it. And that was the birth of graffiti. And look at what it became now. People started putting their sketches from paper on the wall. You feel me? So, yeah. <laughs>
my creative journey has it's been super amazing like i'm so grateful uh all the accolades everything that's been happening like it's going so well but like as a creative like mentally you get very like it drains you so much like this lifestyle you know they like ups and downs so many things i'm sure ben can relate uh but i keep it pushing man like you wake up every day and you think like how am i going to be the greatest you know i feel like with that mentality you, you genuinely can't go wrong um i call it a big blessing actually uh you know sometimes you're fortunate enough to run across certain people uh who will help you on your path people who teach you lessons um people who might not have your best interest at heart but what you take away from all of this is that you can learn everything all the time been very so it, it has been an incredible journey i feel mm. like um individually we have overcome our own obstacles we have worked through things as dancers mm. and um also i feel like um because everybody has a different story now that we are a, a crew we are able to share those stories and like kind yeah. of like help each other grow and take from each other and like become better dancers mm. so far it's been pretty exciting there've been many ups and a couple of downs i mean as expected but i'd say it's been pretty good so far I think something I would have liked to hear when I was still coming up which I still am <laughs> um but back then I would have loved to know that being consistent is really important and um doing whatever it takes regardless of the mood that you're in at that specific time. Do it bro. No excuse like just don't have an excuse like so many creatives are not creating because of an excuse bro like bro I talk about this all the time like when I started my brand Like I had nothing bro I have I didn't even like have a hundred rand I had nothing bro but at the same time I also didn't have excuses bro like I made this shit work bro from the ground up so just take it to the top like use what you have and take it to the top that's what matters be your own biggest fan um I when I started in the industry and even before that um you know there wasn't a lot of people putting a lot of belief in me um you know so that kind of created a uh, self doubt for my like for me as well so be your own biggest fan you know um trust in yourself believe in yourself and keep pushing for yourself well i think i can't say don't be scared you the fear will, will, will always be there but don't let the fear cripple you i think rather start with that fear and just go for it with that fear and then the fear is going to change into something else like i promise it won't you will never stay scared like forever and just believe in yourself and just don't stop no matter what like any pro, every every progress is pro like it's good pro, like it's growth you know yeah. yeah and the power of collaboration to meet other people grow learn don't just confine and be comfortable um always like try to be better try to learn a different amount of piano move or hip hop move whatever it is just yeah. just learn just yeah. be there that's a called net bet and she's from America what inspires me about her is that the fact that she's my age and she's accomplished so much also gives me the hope or uh, she shows me that it's possible I can also do so much all I just have to do is believe in myself and push my craft yeah who inspired me from the beginning was Kendrick Lamar although that's not the type of music I make right now but it inspired me enough to start definitely Jaden Smith uh definitely tell the creator uh i don't know that's the only and aries but like that's like mental yeah those are like those fucking artists are so cool to me they change my life uh also like the local ones you know orish kid ab sims you know shout out to sims album life of malokshi and that should touch me i related so much uh ben inspires me so much Jacob all my friends Isaiah shout out to everyone inspires me but like top 3 has to be like Tyler Jaden and Aries the one dancer that I'd say has like influenced me a lot and also I think with my style is Rihata she's from Do- Tokyo she's a female dancer she has her own studio she's choreographer mm-hmm. worked with a lot of artists and I think what drew me from her, like, what drew me to her was just the fire that she has just the presence as she enters the space mm-hmm. you can tell like you know it's like i feel like she's a tiny person but she has mm-hmm. such big a energy big energy mm-hmm. like an explosive mm-hmm. energy so i was like i want to move like that i want to move clean like that i want to have that much energy i want to yeah. arrive <laughs> in a space yeah. and just also just take up in my space you know blow up like that so yeah i think that inspired me and also the fact mm-hmm. that she has her own line and yeah, I, she's, i feel like she's done a lot of things so it inspired me 
to also I think not be she inspired person. yeah she inspired me to also look deeper into myself because I feel like the more I looked I had to find myself in order to find my dance myself mm -hmm. in dance I guess yeah so um, if we're talking about other DJs um, one of my my all-time favorites uh, Gremlin one of the literally the best Cape Town DJ ever um, if we're talking international people like in the rest of South Africa, Chaotic is another big inspiration. And then if we're keeping it on the ground level with some of my peers, you know, there's Fish Parcel, there's Dola, there's Just Travis, there's Casper CPT. You know, these are the guys who I look up to and like who's helped me across my journey as well. <laughs> and then for me, um, it definitely has to be our locals, Kamompela, Bonte mm. Mudisele, mm. and like the upcoming Ama Piano, Toki Mash, Toki M, Gananelo, and you know, like they're just so incredible. I feel like mm. the amount of work they put in, the authenticity that they yeah. have is, is, is inspiring. It sparks the fire, it moves, and it makes you go mad. Mm -hmm. And yeah. definitely, I feel like uh, the fact that our own peers, our own inspiration is also one of the biggest things because they write, it's so amazing. It's, it's, home. it's, it's, it's yeah. home, it hits yeah. home, you know. Mm -hmm. So, speaking about Kanye, so the artist herself, Zoe, Zoe, Period. like just see them do so much it's, it's so it's so inspiring like because there's days where you're Feels uninspired like demotivated. or demotivated yeah. to do anything but when you come into a space with them you're like nah we got this even you the know girl what sessions saying? like and yeah, yeah the shout out to the girls yeah. Yeah. Shout, like, shout out to us like, oh. it's just as individuals because you'll be feeling so tired with life and oh. things just happen and oh. then you just come back into the space you meet up with other dancers and we're always so supportive the of each other just so, you're always yeah. just cheering each other on like it's never it never feels like a competitive Space, it's so a you growth have to fight space. To yeah. see, you have to fight for a spot. Yeah. So no, so it's like it's great. And also like when we like ciphering, we also like we teach each other something like, oh let's just yeah. do something oh, quick, that, you know. Yeah. Or like, oh, let me just I love this, let me just also teach the others and then so it's like a, a space of sharing and growing. So also just that sisterhood, it's just yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. No, it's like another hole. Yeah. It's rejuvenating <laughs> for the soul, love you know. Family. It's like recharge, you know. Yeah. Like me. <laughs> that positive <laughs> energy too. So far it's um drone, Dr. Wan and Bush, the first writers I saw. Dr. Wan and Bush, the first writers, and then the OG writers like Koha, um, there's other writers as well, but like mostly my, the, the writers I'm with are the ones that inspire me because I inspire them, you know what I mean? So I'm mentioning them actually, like it's pot, plague, smoke, rims, like there's a lot of them, Seth, like yo, there's a lot that people just see the names, but there's no face next to the name, you know what I mean? They just see it and they never see it being done. They just see it there. But then there's the commercial side as well. And those are the people that are more classy about it. You know what I mean? Because that has to put bread on the table. You gotta get bread and feed a family with what you're doing, with what you love. So they inspired me to do it. And that's why I'm still doing it.